So today we have the first ever French Ring Trial in Hawaii. Here we go! A bunch of different dogs here, all competing and trying to get the highest score. What is that? French Ring is a protection sport that judges the quality of the dog for protection work like military, police, home protection. So this sport requires a lot of relationship, a lot of relationship building. Being able to clearly communicate to your dog what you're wanting from it. There's all these minute parts of brevet, of French ring, that catch you points, half a point, it all adds up eventually. So you as a handler have to communicate with your dog very clearly. Sit, sit. Down. And that's what we work the most on, is communication. Stay. Of course, bonding, and we use treats to start off with. Yeah. But to get to this point, it takes a lot, yeah. a lot of practice. So the horn is what starts an exercise and what ends an exercise. Most of the time, we're not training them to be really, really aggressive. I have a dog at home. He bites me every week. When I take the suit off, we snuggle and we share a pillow at night. So it's, it's more of a fun game for the dogs to play. I'm the deputy judge, so I just tell everyone what they're doing, give them the rundown so that they don't get lost. We have these hot dogs. These are food refusal items, so the dog, these objects, items are thrown at the dog. The dog has to refuse the food. If the dog licks the food, it zeroes the exercise. So we have to show the dog's obedience by not taking food from a stranger. Have a go, Pierre. There's three main categories, which are agility, which are the jumps, obedience exercises, and there's protection. Seventy or more percent of the points are based on protection. As you go up in the levels, you get more jumps, more obedience, and more protection exercises. Depending on how well you are, you can go as far as France. Never did. And that's where they started this sport, which would be an amazing feat for us. Okay, this is called the flea attack. This is where a bad guy is running away. That's what the decoy is simulating. The decoy right now will, will, will test the dog's obedience by waving a stick in front of him and then the dog is only to go upon the handler's command. There's the test. The decoy will turn as if he's fleeing and the dog will be required to bite when instructed to right now. So that was a perfect entry. The dog gets full points so far for the bite. Now the upon signal of the judge, uh, handler will recall with a whistle. So as a judge, I'm evaluating these dogs based off of a set of rules. Hopefully all these handlers have studied, they know their rules, they know the expectations. So if the dog deviates outside of that, then they're gonna be losing points for that. If they do it as per the rule book, they're gonna get earn their points for that exercise, if that makes sense. So they're gonna only lose points. Every exercise, if they make mistakes, they lose those points, and then basically at the end of the day, the best team wins. Just cooling them off, it's kind of hot out here today. They work hard, it's a fairly long, long routine. I want to make sure he's nice and cool and ready to go. I brought French Ring here to Hawaii because it's the most demanding, most difficult dog sport there is, in my opinion. It requires a great trainer and a great dog. People often wonder about what we're doing when we're hitting the dogs with a stick. It does not actually hurt the dog at all. In the rule book, it says it has to appear brutal, but not actually be brutal. So it is a bamboo stick, and they're split all the way down, so they flop out like this. The stick is really just meant to show that the dog can get through potential aggression and something that might be scary. But we all practice extensively how to hit the dog properly so we don't actually hurt them. And we also shoot a gun while the dogs are biting as well. The gun is a blank revolver. It's made for noise for the dog so the dog can be confident under the pressure of gunfire. Some dogs have issues with it, other dogs don't. The actual trial is meant to test the dog to see if it does have the attitude and the fortitude to get through gunfire and potential stick hits. This sport gives your dog a purpose, gives you a purpose. When you get these high intelligent, high drive dogs, they need something to do. This is it. This is what you can do. It's a minimal cost. In the mainland, it's a ton of money to do. Um, but here in Hawaii, we try to keep the cost down. 
cost of living is already high. So this gives you an outlet. Hang out with your dog, you meet good people, it's our family. In French Ring, you can give your commands in your native tongue, which a lot of people here use English, or French, since it's French Ring, or your native tongue. And we have a member of our group, Jenna Oda, who gives her commands in Hawaiian. Hawaiian is my language of choice, as always. We are the first, and only right now, in French Ring to compete in that language. So Lalo is down, Kali is wait, Noho is sit, Nahu is attack, Kala is release, um, and those things all have to start with her name. So if I say Siren Lalo, Siren Nahu, she has to do those things, but I as a handler need to say her name first. There's no better way to build a relationship with your dog. It's a ton of fun, it's really difficult, but it's really rewarding. Like that, yeah. If you're into a challenge and you want to see what your dog can do and get the most out of your dog, French Ring is definitely the sport for you. Any breed is allowed to compete, but not every breed can. You mostly see breeds like Belgian Malinois, a few German Shepherds, some uh, Beaucelons, but they really have to be high drive, they have to be very fit, very athletic, and very agile. This is my 15th competition that I've judged. As far as it goes for ranking compared to the mainland, these dogs actually have done a really nice job today. we will give the mainland dogs a run for their money as well as they did today, they're doing awesome. If you think your dog has what it takes to compete in French rings, please contact me. I'm on Instagram at Hawaii Working Canines, the letter K, the number nine, or on Facebook at Eric Sachs.